there. This is Helen from Vivina. Welcome back. Well, in this episode of video, we will record the whole process of the 62 kilowatt hour battery upgrade on the first generation of Leaf, Leaf Z0. The car owner had parked his car in our factory yesterday since the production of his battery pack had been completed. Okay, let's start the working now. The 12 volt battery is on. Plug in the OBD2 to read the battery performance of his old battery. Let's check the battery performance of his old battery. The amp power is only 22, SOH 34%, HX 34%, the capacity had been degraded very seriously. The voltage is 380. The SOC now is 58%. With the 58% SOC, the remaining cuisine range on the dashboard is only 22 kilometers. So it is fully charged. The car can only go like uh, 90 kilometers. That's also why the leaf owner needs the new battery so badly. Get the car on the hoist and start going. Remove the battery protective plate. Removing the fixing connection piece. First, remove the low voltage original car single harness and then remove the high voltage plug. Remove the old battery pack. First, remove the screws at the back rear. Then, remove the screws at the front. Finally, remove the screws in the middle. The old battery pack had been removed. We open the customer's old pack to check how the battery status now. After we open the original old battery pack, the condition looks fine, not so terrible, but the SOH had been degraded to 35%. So the capacity is not good. This is our 62 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now we will install it in the car and uh, test on road. We just put the cover on and not finally seal it. If the battery performance are all perfect on road test, then we will finally seal the battery case. We are using the original Z0 battery case. The 62 kilowatt hour battery pack at the height by 2.5 cm. So we will lift the spacer and the, the longer screws for the installation. Total 10 spacers, each side 3 two at the front and two at the back. First, we install the two spaces at the rear back. Positioning in the right hole. When installing the new battery pack, you need to first install the high voltage pack and then the low voltage original car single harness. Now the new 62 kilowatt hour battery pack has been installed on our Leaf Z0. Let's start the vehicle. 
Okay, you can find that there are 497 remaining cuisine range on the dashboard. The car is in the ready situation, but with a fault code. So now we will clear the P3102 fault code to pair the new battery. Plug in the OBD2. Okay, now the leaf spike has been connected. You can find the amp power is 180. SOH 100%, the voltage is 401 volts. We will clear the P3102 fault code now. The car year is 2011. Enable the service screen. Read the DTCS. Okay, you can find the four code P3102 and uh, some other four codes. Okay, we are clear it. Execute it. Execute. Continue to clear all the four codes. Okay, all the fault codes have been cleared. There are no more fault codes, only the, this BCM K4. Uh, this is because we got a new case for this car, not the original one, so got this fault code, but this doesn't affect the driving. Now we start the car again. All right, perfect. The remaining cuisine range is 496 kilometers, and the car is in ready situation. No fault codes. Perfect. We now start to drive on the road now. Okay, now the new 62 kilowatt hour battery pack had been installed on customer's Leaf Z0. Today is 4th August and a Monday morning. The outside temperature is around 38 degrees Celsius. Very hot weather. It's also a great challenge for us to go outside for the testing. And uh, today we will change to test um, another road. Mostly will be the urban expressway. So it will be different. Let's go. Now we start the vehicle. There are 398 remaining cuisine range on the dashboard. The air conditioner is turned on. So inside the car is very cool. Only around 20 degrees Celsius very comfortable. Personally speaking, I think the cooling effect of Z0 is better than AZ0. This is just my feeling. Okay, now let's check the leaf spy readings. Amp power 180, SOH 100%, 392 volts. The SOC is quite high, around 88%. Now we just start the driving. The current is around 40 ampere. Temperature is around 35 degrees Celsius. All the data looks perfect. Okay, let's start on the road drive now. There are speed limits in this express road around 10 kilometers and the average speed have to be around 17 km per hour. Now we try to accelerate the driving speed. The current also reaches to 226 ampere. The car driving speed now is around 120 km per hour. The cell performance is stable.
Now the remaining cuisine range on the dashboard is 405 kilometers. We are driving more range. This is because the energy economy has been dropped and we are going down hills a little. The actual mileages we have been drove are increased, but the actual remaining cuisine range, the BMS we calculated, is increased. We are now arrived at the Wishi Scenic Dam. Quite beautiful scenery. There are some mountains here. Driving uphill, our car can only be parked at that side, cannot go inside. Okay, now we have arrived at We Three Dam. You can find beautiful scenery and here reserve vast water here. Okay, now we accelerate the driving speed again. Now reaches to around 110 km per hour. The SOC now dropped to 75%. Wow, the current reaches to 230 ampere. The battery performed perfect. Now we start to accelerate the driving speed again. Driving speed reaches to 125 km per hour. After several rounds of driving in high speeds and uh, slow speeds, the battery performs perfect. Later, we will arrive to the factory and uh, finally seal the battery pack and uh, then install it back to the car and then customer can get his car back but with a new battery. After all the tests being okay, we now finally seal the battery pack. Install back the new 62 kilowatt hour battery pack on customer's leaf. Install the protective plate. Now all the installation has been completed. 